Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike from Mobox. Real quick before we get started, I just wanna let you know that we created a secondary channel called Mobox Music. It's a curated music channel, urge you to check it out, link in the description. We just released our first 45 minute mix. It is called Deep Sleep Mix One. If you're working in After Effects or studying or just trying to get through your day, I urge you to go listen to that. If you're a fan of the music you hear on Mobox, you could always find those songs over on Mobox Music. Anyways guys, let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the giant elephant in the room, the new Video Copilot plugin called Orb. Now, Orb is a new After Effects plugin created by Video Copilot, and it centers around creating realistic planets and spherical objects in After Effects. It's super powerful and super fast. And did I mention it's totally free? This isn't really a review or a tutorial, but I'll be definitely doing a lot more of a review than a tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if you do want to say this tutorial or if the one done by Andrew over on Video Copilot was good enough. I'll save you the trouble. The one by Andrew is actually pretty great. So I watched the tutorial on Orb before I downloaded it, and I'll be honest, the results were really great, but the interface looked really difficult. Not many things in this world are both easy and attractive. Except the funny part is Orb plugin is actually a lot easier than it looks and does produce some really attractive results. I think the toggles could be separated a bit better because when you add a cloud layer, for example, most things either help you get the look that you're looking for or actually do completely nothing. So that actually makes things easy because you can mess around and get the look that you're looking for without really having a risk of messing anything up that you've already done but in general, it would be nice if things were broken up a little bit better. Overall, once you jump in, the interface becomes a lot easier to work with. I just wish that it didn't look so cumbersome from the start. I know I mentioned it before, but I highly recommend you check out the tutorial by Video Copilot because it will definitely help you walk through the interface and you could always bounce back to that tutorial if you're ever wondering how to do something specific. Highly recommended you follow the tutorial and then the interface will become second nature to you. So as you can see from the trailer for Orb and the tutorial from Andrew on Video Copilot, the results speak for themselves. Your mileage will vary, but there's no doubt that the plugin has the capability to create amazing things. You'll need to practice and experiment before anything you create will look anything close to the trailer because Orb is just a cool tool to help you create better things. It will not replace lack of creativity or experimentation, but that's not important. The important thing is that Orb gives you many more options than the built-in CC Sphere tool does in After Effects currently. This is really pushing After Effects to its limits of a 2D animation and compositing software, and for most people on a small budget, that's a really exciting thing. No doubt the results you could achieve with Cinema 4D will probably easily match this. The point is Cinema 4D is really expensive and much more difficult to use. Use your creativity, grow your skills, and you will achieve greater things with Orb than otherwise. The major problem I have with Orb isn't actually the plugin itself, it's the fuel that runs it. To create amazing work, you need high resolution textures. You could find some good textures and elevation maps online. Some are free, some aren't, but for the most part, they're not that great. Usually they're lower resolution than you'd want and most are not that detailed. I found that 8K to 16K textures of planets and moons in our solar system are the best you'll find. They're free and great quality. It's a limited selection, but unless you know how to make textures and elevation maps, you're limited to nature. But if anyone out there knows a great resource for texture maps, let us know in the comments and I'll collect the good ones and put links in the description. I will point out one great addition though that they did add that helps combat this problem. Under the mapping settings, you could choose to tile and blend textures. So theoretically, you can create or find maybe a 2K by 2K square texture and tile it with this built-in functionality. And that should actually get you a lot further than just finding texture maps online of complete planets. The other limitation that I see is that the objects act like 3D shapes, but really they're 2D shapes. And that means you can't simulate a star and planet. I have a tutorial where I showed this with an earth and a moon, and you may be able to fake this with orb, moving the objects by hand, but rigging a simulated planet system would be nearly impossible for my estimation. This limitation will be most noticeable once you have a sphere and you want it to rotate from behind another sphere and then in front of it. It'll be clipped depending on the order of the layers. 
In general, I haven't really found a great way to place multiple orb spheres in one composition and have things move naturally and being placed positionally correct. Another tutorial from Andrew would be nice to address this because it seems that he did find a way in the tutorial trailer. I'll admit, I'm weird and I like to rig things together to work like they do in nature, but if you're just trying to get some slow camera shots of a planet, there's absolutely no need to simulate an entire solar system like I want. You could just simply move the objects by hand and try to estimate it to make it look right. I'm not going to pretend that my PC is low spec, but it certainly is not a professional workstation. It's much more like an ultra high-end consumer hardware. But Orb runs really, really great, and I'm really happy to say that. Video Copilot says it's GPU accelerated. Not sure what that means in terms of how it's coded or whether it's just using GPU accelerated effects built into After Effects. But for me, it means that my GPU and CPU absolutely crush this thing and complete scenes render and load into RAM really fast. It will consume a lot of RAM and it did easily fill my 64 gigs. But in terms of processing, it's super fast. 10 out of 10, I love it. Could not ask for anything better in terms of speed. Stability is a bit of a different story. Remember when I said it's pushing After Effects to its limits? It's most noticeable here. I've had AE crash a few times when I jump between compositions that all have orb in use. Sometimes when you're just working, it'll lock up. I've made many rigs that crash like 10 times more than this, so I'm really hardly actually complaining here, but you will want to actually just make sure you save it pretty often. I can go on all day about how the stability could be improved or the interface could be better, but you know what? This plugin is totally free and it comes with starter textures and a great tutorial on how to use it. I mean, there really is nothing else to say. If you don't like it, don't use it. Simple as that. By this point, I'm sure you've discovered one thing is that the Aura plugin is used to create planets and moons. And if you don't do a lot of work with space compositions, then this amazing plugin will not provide you actually very much value. But if you know anything about me, you'll know that I love space and making planets. So this is actually a really, really great resource for me. If you're sticking to quick, slow space shots, then Orb is the perfect tool. And here are just a few samples that I made with Orb over the last weekend, just messing around, doing some work. Um, coincidentally working on a video on real engineering where we're talking about the moon and this really stepped up my game pretty severely um, or significantly would probably be the better word um, to get my output to look so much better. Is it what I want it to be as like a super ultra realistic moon? Not quite, but I think that if I find the proper moon textures and proper bump map or elevation map or normal map, whatever you want to call it, then I actually think that I can get a lot closer to what I would dream to achieve than with what I've been doing with Orb. So you could have fantastical, you could have realistic. It, it doesn't really matter and it's, and it's really easy to use. So it works with cameras, it works with lights. It, it just, it, there's really nothing else to say. If you're working on a budget, it's, it's the best tool to add to your collection if you're dealing with space shots at all. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like. Check out Mobox Music, please. Go over there, subscribe. Listen to the mix, number one. Deep sleep, mix number one. Um, it'll help you fall asleep. It'll help you study better. It'll help you do work better. Um, it's really great. And then, hey, listen, if you like trap or um, lo-fi or hip-hop beats, then you're in for a treat every single day. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.